Okay, guys. We got a little kit to build from eBay. One pound five pence, and it is a thirty-eight LED. Um, 2.4 watts. A little, uh, what's that called? E27 screw fitting. Apart from the 38 LEDs, there's only like six or seven other components. Uh, I, I say actually, it's about nine. So, what we got here? We got a bridge rectifier, so we got four diodes, we got a 100 ohm and 2470 ohm. 100 ohm resistor, and this is a. Uh, I don't actually see. 2.2 microfarad, 400 volt electrolytic, and a 60. That's uh, 68.4, so it's 680 nanofarads. Um, or 680,000 pico polyester film and a couple of wires you got a these to go into the AC part of the board here um, there's two little you can see that there and there and then you got these two to connect even though these are actually polaritized uh, they're not actually give you polaritized wire you've got two blacks but you do want to make sure you get those the right way around. The board is pretty self um, self explanatory. It shows you where the um, rectified diodes go, and also it shows you where the 100 ohm resistor goes. Right, it says 100 in there, and that just leaves it down to this is just from memory that the other two 470s just go to where the other two resistors go. Um, yeah, let's get the old. Uh, capacitor in the correct place and um, bend over the electrolytic uh, to make sure all this fits snugly basically it will just go in here and there's a hole and like a little bit that sticks out and there's a hole and that's it that just sticks like that and you could chuck a little bit of a uh, glue in there a bit of hot glue or you can just chuck the um, chuck this on top there's nothing there once the, uh, the big capacitors are on there there's nothing you know if the board was the other way up that'd be a bit of a problem but as it's going to be this way up it's, it's not I would say if you're going to give this to somebody or anything like that or even for yourself put a little bit of a uh, hot glue in there uh, just to keep it in place if you're worried about it rattling around I've made a couple of these already I think they're quite good so I ordered another five um, just got to find me some bayonet fittings that will allow me to screw into the bayonet fittings so they can fit my normal my normal lights. 2.4 watts for power. It's nothing really. So I'm going to throw this together. I'm not going to bother doing it on the camera. There's nothing to see here really. Uh, I'll just chuck it together. Um, this is really simply laid out as you can see. Uh, positive and negative. It's marked on there quite clearly where things go. Um, and then once you're done, you've got your positive connection goes there, your, your ground connection goes on there, and that's that part wired. And like I say on this board here, you've got your AC. The two parts where you put the AC just here. Which is from there, that you just screw it in. And they work. And I'll tell you something I've noticed for the two bulbs I've got. One of the LEDs doesn't work in either bulb. You know, in either array of these LEDs, one of them doesn't work. So it'll be interesting when I put this one together to see if all of them work or whether they all work apart. Whether they all work apart from one. Hmm. Let's check it together.
something I've noticed I don't know if you can see that it's got a big chunk missing out of it oh this camera's rubbish at you know trying to focus when you're close uh, hmm. you can probably see that I'm just trying to point out there's a there's a big old chunk missing so I'm not going to use that one. Let's see. What is it? It's 407. Uh, oops. Here we go. Why is it going to start day one on me now? You can buy these things. A million for half a pence. So, Alice off eBay. Alice meant some big ass long number. I don't know why they do that with the big long numbers if they ever want people to remember them and be able to just like tell you, you know, where you can get a gazillion of these things. For uh... oh no, don't tell me that's a break thing as well. Or did I just? What happened there? Oh no, that's the good one. <laughs> I picked the broken one back up again. There you go. Go on back to fast forward. So there we go. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this around like this and push it down so the hole, like I said, is a. Uh, I'll have to turn that around a couple of times in there. It basically just sits in like that. Uh, I mean you could, if you wanted to, stick some tape down or something. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to push that, that capacitor over on those. I give them that little bit of legs, didn't I? And that's going to make sure that when this is on, even if that pushes down into the top, you know, it's just going to push down on the side. I just noticed there's a bit of grubbiness on the sides. I suppose you could paint it. Uh, we just got to make sure that we get the right way around on this because these won't like it. So this is definitely the negative. The negative because to the outside on here. So we've got a little tiny bit of, uh, tiny bit of solder. Okay. Negatives on. Pull that solder up a little bit so I can get to it. And then we got a little bit of a bit of a fiddle doing that bit. Look. And there we go. Lovely, chubby. Lovely chubbly. Right, so I'll push that down then. And that's it basically, so that's all in, that's just pushed down. Uh, I used to connect it and uh, 
positive to the middle, negative to the outside. I'm just going to double check, make sure that's good. Yep, yep, that's good. Okay, and then we're just going to push this down on top. It says on the destructions to test it before you put it together, which is all well and good. As I say, it's a bit awkward once you've got it together to get it apart, but I don't find it so awkward to get it apart. It's a little bit of a little bit of a fiddle to get it together. You need one of those little skinny screwdrivers or something with a nice. And you can just pull the. Oh, I'll try and just get it to go in there without every time you get one part to go in, the other part pops out. Another little bit here. Just, gonna just round off these these notchy bits are supposed to be here to make sure it gets a good you know good and stays in really well but I think on some of them when it just sticks out a little bit too far then it's not so good. That'll do it. That'll do it, that'll do it. Right. Put that. Just wind it down a little bit because the wires are quite long there. Put that over the hill. No, it's just jumped off. Like I say, a little bit fiddly. Oh, well. I'm actually doing it the other way around this time. I don't want to do it that way around. I want it so the component side is upwards and not the board. Okay. Right now I've just just only just sanded off I just saw. There we go, look that actually goes in nice and snug as we want it. So it's not just gonna pop out at all. And if you are worried about it, I suppose once you've tested it you can always just pop it out. Uh, I'm just gonna press down on that. There is a very slight crack in the case. It's only for me, so it's not going to make any real difference to my life. But there we go. Uh, that's it. Bad is it. I can't really measure the... Well, I suppose I could. A little off. Fapping about to see if this actually does 2.4 2 watts. I've got a watt meter somewhere. The mains watt meter. You know, energy. Jobby. Um, but I don't know, I'm going to get my hands on it straight away. I'm only going to try this now and see if the damn thing works by just whipping out this bulb. I don't know if you'll be able to, if I turn that off, you'll be able to see the change. Okay, so I'll take out the old bulb, put it down there. There's the new one put it up here. I should have probably uh, left the other light on, but. I don't know if you can actually see this one being on or not. Okay, well, that's got that same pinky colour in it as well. If I take out the other bulb, look at the sort of light, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, and you can still see the sort of pink around here, but it's, you know, Ooh, I don't like that. Let's put that back down there. And I don't like the pink thing. Let's whip that out. Swap it over. There we go. See, around here, there's no pink. And up here, okay, you still got that going on with that flickering, but it's it's a more creamier yellow white. Which is what I like. There, never mind. The thing works. Watch your eyes. You know, it works. It's cheap. It's just more solder practice. Uh, but I like the idea of these cheap little lights. What I want to do, come in, just put a little bit of hold on the end of this so I can just turn it off. There we go. Oh, throwing it around the place now. 
Yeah, cheap, one pound five. Um, LED kit, you know, two point four watts. So that's what attracted me. Two point four watts. So I can put four of these in this room, and only have ten watts. But I can put the light into the area that I want, and not just have one bulb, ten watt bulb. Uh, you know, sort of dominating light space. And that 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 was the whole idea. I just don't like it with this pinky sort of tinge to it. So I'm going to get onto them and say, yeah. I don't like that. Have you got any with the yellow tinge? Like the first one, that's what I wanted. But I'll build the other ones anyway. We've got a. Oh, we yeah, I've got a few more left to build. So I'm going to get on and do them and see what they're like. But anyway, if you watched so far, cheers for watching, guys, and uh, and I'll try and find something a bit more interesting that I can do to make a video of. That's a bit boring really isn't it?